I'm Adam. No, I'm Adam. Not Adam. Roger. And we're here with Craft Beer and Brewing's Tip of the Week. Grain selection. Let's talk about lower AVV stouts. I think it's tremendously important and it's not necessarily the easiest thing to do to get a ton of flavor in something that is a bit more drinkable, sessionable. You know, if you're trying to go for a five to 6% beer, it's easy to overload that with, or not have enough flavor. There's a delicate balance there because if you're going for something lower ABV that you want someone to have a few pints of, you don't necessarily want to inundate them with you know, so much roast or, or so much body where the beer is so heavy that it's like, blah, you know, that there's other styles where, where that's at home. And what I like to do, what we like to do here is we'll shoot for anywhere from six to 10% of darker malts. And that that's a blend of roasted malts, chocolate malts, and other more impactful grain like Munich in our lower ABV stouts. We find that if you kind of go over that range of 10% on the higher end, you may run into issues where the beer is, starts to get a little acrid or it gets a little so roasty that people, you know, you drink it and, and it's like, man, roast. Like you don't, I don't know how else to say it. You want to taste the roast without tasting the roast. It, you don't want it to be so obvious. And it's easy to go overboard with, with dark malts in a lower ABV beer. I think there's a subtlety approach to the lower ABV beers. I think as brewers think about brewing stout, you know, the first thing you wanna, you wanna just start layering all these like dark and roasted malts. When, when you do, that, that is part of the complexity of a stout. But when it is a lower ABV, like Adam was saying, you don't want to go to hit those acrid or astringent notes. So you want to pull it back and just do a little more of a subtle take on those big, darker, impactful malts. And I'll say something that we learned uh, early on when we were developing Fat Pug, the first few batches of it were coming out a bit thin for what we wanted and a bit extra roasty almost i mean this is i want to you know to trash talk our own beer but you, you, there's a smell like a like an ashtray on us you know that's like it's like a roast roast notes so because a lot of this grain is roasted so high so darkly that it is essentially burnt grain you know and we were having some struggles taking taking our initial pilot batches and getting them to hit the flavor profile that we wanted. And part of the reason was the, you know, when we scale it up to larger batches, the way the mashes worked in this mash tun, a lot of those roast flavors carried through a lot more at scale. And we're not talking about huge differences here. We had to back down maybe half a bag of grain, which amounts to half a percent, maybe a percent at most, but the impact is tremendous. To learn more about brewing great stouts, click the link below.